Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, my name is Ryan. Today I got the Kingsong S18. Done a modification here where you can add any kind of side pad you want, or power pad. Currently I'm using the Grizzilla power pads here, as you can see. This is a finished kind of product here. Won't be showing you step by step really today, just kind of the aftermath of what I've already done. And uh, what's neat about this, I've, you're able to still use the front uh, plastic piece and also the rear plastic piece. Um, what I've tried to do is, let's see if you can see it here. But I've tried to keep the kind of the same shape, if you can, the same shape of the actual wheel. So just in case, that way if it does happen to roll forward, then it's not gonna have a edge to snag on or anything. So what I've done is I've used a cutting board. Yeah, start at the bottom, top. It's more of a heavier duty uh, cutting board. Got it at Walmart. I'm sure you'll be able to find it at Walmart and whatnot. Anyway, let me spin it around to the other side here. Kinda had the pads off and stuff so you can see that. So if you haven't taken your pads off, this is pretty much what the King Song S18 without pads looks like. Pretty bare here. Already got my Velcro. You put your Velcro on the your actual batteries there. So first thing I did was take uh, get the pieces here for you. Hold on a sec. So after you take all your pads off, you just peel that foam. Uh, padding off and you got this left with this plastic stuff. So I took these two, put them together, make sure you got, uh, there's three little clips here. So you want to make sure, um, don't cut those off or anything because if you still want to use them. So I fit that back together and then I, what I did is I took a jigsaw, went along here, so you can see that here. And then like I said, make sure if you still want to use this, uh, the plastic piece just cutting this other side you now it's probably an inch and inch and a half something like that but there's kind of like a natural look like an edge inside there and also I kind of cut around up here because it kind of had like a, a bevel and I just wanted everything completely flat because I wasn't sure what pads I was going to use or if I was going to kind of make my own pads so yeah once you get that done pretty much cut that same how that kind of looks that's how I did it Anyway, then what I did is I stick this back on here, stick that back on there, and then you get a, your uh, cutting board, once that's back on there, get your cutting board, because I got this on uh, Walmart, it's a, it's a heavy duty one, you can't, you can't bend it, so it's not like those cheap kind of white ones, if, you, uh, if you've ever seen those, but yeah, get a piece of cardboard, Cut it to the same shape as your cutting board. And then I'll, uh, let me put this on here, show you. So yeah, at the top, make sure you kind of leave this piece because then that way it'll fit underneath here, this ridge, uh, a lot more seamless. So yeah, get your cardboard, line it up to here. And then just start tracing here, kind of here. And then there'll be extra excess here. So the shape of yours might be a hair different than what I did. What I was trying to do is utilize as much of the cutting board as I could. Anyway, and then, um, yep. And then after that, kind of get that front cut in the hair. And then what you're going to have to do is you kind of mark this, a rough estimate where this is. And um, let me turn it this way maybe for you a little bit here. So you have to take this, uh, kind of do rough uh, estimates here, markings, and then um, you'll have to take this piece off and be able to cut this because you want to cut this when it's on here because of the battery. So definitely make sure you take this off, take this off, because you don't want to cut into any of these batteries. So what I did is I, I just kind of cut this, all this, because this was kind of raised up, so I wanted all this flax. So I'm sure what pads, like I said, where I was going to put them. So. But yeah, anyway, make sure you kind of cut in front of where this clip is. If you still want to be able to utilize this rear clip here. 
or if you just want to totally get rid of all of it and just put foam there, um, completely up to you. But anyway, that's kind of how I did mine. And then, uh, yep, and I can just show you how it like I said, then it'll just fit right in there. And the Velcro, and try to use the really heavy duty Velcro. Don't use that cheap kind of Velcro. I kind of left a little bit edges down low and stuff too. But, and then also on the, on your edges here of your cutting board, I just use a Dremel to kind of bevel it towards the wheel there. That way there's no rough edges and stuff. And that takes some time. Did some beveling here. On the sides, back here. You know, how much ever time you want to kind of spend on it, it's totally up to you if you decide to do something similar. But, uh, yeah, it'll be a nice setup for you if you want to try some kind of different pads. The original pads just didn't work for me because I usually like to wear kind of work boots. So the original uh, King Song pads that it comes with, my boot just would not fit underneath the kind of the jump pad that's sloped there. And it's possible these newer, uh, these other one new pads like Clark pads or I think Psy pads make some too now. Maybe it's possible they would, but anyway. But yeah, let me know what you think uh, down in the comments below. Subscribe and like. And see you in the next one. Bye.